G'day everybody and welcome back to another Affinity Photo tutorial, the first one for 2022. And I've got this fantasy composite for you today. So as usual, let's get started. We're going to start off with this picture of the mountains here and we're gonna use our selection brush tool. So I've got my brush fairly small as you can see and I'm just gonna make a copy of just the mountains here. Okay, so just a copy of the mountains there and I'm going to copy that with a command J or control J if you're on Windows and then get rid of those marching ants with my command D or escape. So now we've just got a copy just of those mountains. Okay, the next picture that I'm going to bring over is this picture here. Again, we're using our selection brush tool and again, I've got a very small brush. I just want this foreground of this picture here. So that's just the foreground. We're gonna just make a quick copy of that. And hold my option key down to get rid of any of the selection that I don't want to keep. But that's okay and I'm just going to copy that over. I'll just fix that little bit up there. I'll just copy this over with a command C or control C if you're on Windows over to the picture here and right on top command V and then over to our move tool here. Double click on that background and we're just going to make that a little bit smaller and stretch it all the way across. And I'm just going to cover that tree there. So I just want that foreground just to cover that tree and stretch it right across the picture there. So that's looking pretty good just like that. So let's make that a little bit smaller. So the next picture that I'm going to bring over is my sky picture here. So Command C, I'm gonna bring the whole thing over and I'm going to put that at the back of the mountains there. So Command V. Again, double click and we can resize that. Command zero, and you can see I haven't got it quite in the right place. I'm gonna drag that down just beneath that copy of just the mountains that we made. And I'm going to drag that up so we can't see. And I'll just drop the opacity on that to about, to about 70%, just so I've got those clouds coming through a little bit as well. Okay, right on top, I'm going to add a adjustment layer. I'm going to add a selective color. I'm going to change the color here to the neutrals and bring up the cyan a little bit and the yellows down. And we'll just try and match that color in a little bit better. And that looks pretty good about there. So also on our foreground, this picture here, so we can call that foreground. I'm going to add another adjustment and I'm going to add an exposure. Clip that to the foreground and let's just darken that up a little bit. Okay, we're ready for our next picture now, which is going to be the picture of our clouds here. We're gonna use our rectangular marquee tool here. And about halfway up, just make a selection and copy the clouds and Command C for copy or Control C if you're on Windows. Come back to our picture and I want this picture behind the foreground. So I'm gonna come on the background picture here of those mountains and Command V. Let's double click that, come over to our Move tool and let's move that into place. Command zero again and we can make that a little bit smaller. I'm gonna stretch this out a little bit because I don't wanna see this mountain on the side, just the clouds. So let's just keep stretching that out till we see the mountains. And let's move that up quite a bit just so we've got our clouds there. On our cloud layer, let's name that cloud. And let's add a mask down here. So right down here, let's add a mask. Clicking on the mask, let's come over here to our gradient tool here. Clicking on the gradient tool and let's just drag up quite a bit and drag down. And then let's bring this little slider here down. And then let's bring this black point down just so we see this line disappear here. That's disappearing, so that's good. Let's bring the slider up a little bit there. So let's click on the little hand tool. So we've got our clouds in place now. So we're ready to bring over our next picture, which is going to be the picture of the moon here. So with this one, I'm going to use my flood selection tool. 
got my tolerance at 20%. I'm just going to click on the black. Then I'm going to come up here to this little invert selection box here and just invert that selection. So I've only got the moon selected and then come back to my selection brush tool. Fairly big brush. I'm using my right and left bracket keys to resize the brush. And then let's just bring that down. Don't worry if you can't get it too round. It doesn't really matter. Let's come up here to refine. And on here, I'm going to smooth that by five and feather it by five and just hit apply. I'm going to copy that over with my command C or control C, as I said, if you're on Windows and I want that behind the mountain. So I'm going to go command V. You can see it's behind that mountains. And now you can see why we made a copy of those mountains. So let's grab our move tool and move it all the way up into place. I want a fairly big moon. I am going to change the blend mode to luminosity. Just remember this is a fantasy photo, so it's not really emulating real life. We've got our moon in place. I'm gonna come down here to my live filters, Gaussian blur, and I'm just gonna bring that up to two. Just a very, very small blur on that moon. Okay, we're ready for our next photo. So let's bring over the picture of our island here. So again, I'm going to use my selection brush tool, fairly small brush for this one. And then I'm just going to select this island here all the way down to the bottom, making a selection. And now just these trees here. And then I'm going to hit my refine. Then I'll just paint over where I see the blue here just to make a better selection. That looks pretty good. I'll just hit apply because I'm just going to copy that over with the command C back to my picture. And I'm going to put that behind the foreground. So clicking on the cloud layer, command V, got my island here. So I'm going to make another copy of that, command J. So I want one copy right over here in the corner. I'm going to make that quite big and just slide it over into the corner here. I'll add an exposure layer to that, clip it and just darken that down. And I'm just going to call that left island. On the center one here, we're going to grab our next picture because we're going to add a little bit more to this center one. So I'll grab our next picture, which is going to be the picture of the temple here. You can see on this one, I've already used my selection brush tool and I've already made a selection of the temple. And I've also taken this tree here as well. So this one takes a little bit of time. So that's why I've already made the selection. So I'm just going to copy that over with a command C back to the main picture right on top of the island here, command V or control V if you're on Windows. Okay, let's make that really quite small. That's gonna go right on top of the island here. And now you can see why I wanted to keep that tree as well. So I'm just gonna slide that down a little bit and add a mask. So let's come down here to the masks. Got that mask just on the temple. Let's grab my brush, nice soft basic brush down here. The color I'll be painting in black. So let's get those colors back to default and hit X to be painting in black. 25% on the flow is okay. Let's zoom in a little bit. Doesn't really need much blending in this one. So as you can see, let's just blend that in a little bit. Maybe get rid of that. As I said, it doesn't really need a lot of blending in because we've got all that foliage on there. So that looks pretty good. Command zero back to normal size. Now with this temple and our island, let's hold shift key and highlight both of those and command G to group them. And I'll call that center island. And on the center island, we'll add an adjustment, which is going to be another exposure. Clip that to that group and darken that quite a bit right down to about there, looks pretty good. Back on the center island, I'm gonna copy that again with a Command J or Control J on Windows and put that one underneath. Come over here to my Move tool. Going to move this one right over to the right and make it smaller. Put it out here. That looks pretty good. Let's call that Right Island and add a Live Gaussian Blur. I'm just gonna do that with one. Really, really subtle, just a tiny little blur on that one. Let's come back up here to the center island and add a mask. Clicking on the mask, grabbing our brush, still got the flow of 25% and we're still painting in black. Make my brush a little bit bigger. 
First of all, I'm going to move that island up a little bit, right to the top, make it a little bit bigger, and then back on my mask here. Fairly big brush there, and I'm going to brush those clouds around the bottom here. Make my brush a little bit smaller, back to white. We'll just get rid of that little bit of mist there. We'll do the same on this right island here. We'll add a mask. Clicking on the mask, we've still got our brush, and we'll just put that behind the clouds there. Back to white, a little bit smaller. Okay, so we've got all of our islands in place. Let's add the picture of our woman here. And again, you can see I've already done the selection with the selection brush tool, just to make it a little bit quicker. So I've got her selected. So I'm gonna copy her over, Command C, and I'm going to put her just under the selective color here, Command V. Come over here to my move tool and make her a little bit smaller and then arrange and flip horizontal. So just going to flip her over there and just resize about there, looks pretty good. So I'll add a adjustment and another exposure and clip that to our woman here and then just darken her down a little bit and also add a new pixel layer right underneath, clicking on my brush, painting in black, Flow 25% is okay. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, just right at the bottom here. Make my brush really small and then put a shadow under her dress here. Make my brush quite big. And then bigger again. Command zero and we've got our shadow in place. Okay, what I'm going to do now is add our lamp. And as you can see, I've already cut out the lamp as well because this one was really fiddly and took quite a bit of time to cut out. So I did use my selection brush tool with a very small brush and I've cut the lamp out. So I'll just copy that over, Command C, over to our picture and I want it underneath our picture of our woman here. So Command V, onto my move tool. And I'm going to make that quite small. Bringing it over to where our hand is here, and I'm just going to rotate that just a tiny bit and just place that lamp where our hand is. Let's add a little bit of color. So on top of the lamp, a new pixel layer, change that to soft light. Let's pick a color, sort of this orangey color, looks pretty good. Still on our brush, still got 25%, we're still a soft brush. So let's grab that color and let's make our flow. Maybe let's take that up to 100 because we're on soft light and just click on the lamp, bit of color there and then a little bit on the ground here as well. Above our woman here, I'm gonna add another pixel layer. That's again going to be soft light and I'm going to clip that to the woman. Going to drop my flow to about 50%, I think. Let's have a look at that. Let's zoom in, brush a little bit smaller. I'm just gonna paint some of that yellow from the lamp here. Make my brush a bit bigger. Bring my flow up again and just make that a little bit stronger. Command zero, that looks pretty good there. Now let's add some highlights to some of our other islands and to do that we'll come to our center island here. This island here, I'm going to add another exposure down here on my adjustments, exposure, clip that to the center island, bring that up really quite bright and then let's click off that and on that exposure we're going to go command I to invert it. Let's get our colors back to normal with our D on our keyboard. Back to our brush. So let's bring it down to 60. And right on the edge here, just gonna go around and put a little bit of light from that moon in the background. Okay, I'm gonna do the same to that left island. And let's do the same to the right island. Okay, we can collapse all those. Just make that tiny little bit smaller. I'm going to add some birds now. So clicking on my first bird layer, Command C, 
over to my picture here. I want the birds behind my center island and my right island. So I'm just gonna click on this background here and Command V, changing my blend mode to darken. Back on my move tool, we can double click and resize those birds. Command zero to get back to normal size. Those birds in place, just flying around our temple there. And we can go Command J and get another little copy down here. And over to our other bird picture here, Command C. Back to our picture here again, right on top of those other birds, Command V. Double click and resize those birds. Change the blend mode to darken. Command zero to get back. Let's just add those ones about there. Looks pretty good, flying past the temple there. Might make another copy of those other birds. Command J on that one, and let's just move them just over here. About there, looks pretty good. Okay, what we're gonna do now is right on top again, come down here to adjustments. Going to add a lens filter. Not really gonna change any of the colors, just gonna leave it like that. And then underneath the lens filter, so on the selective color here, I'm going to grab my little color picker here, pick this blue color, activate it, and then come over here to my rectangle tool and draw a rectangle all the way over the whole picture. Change that blend mode to average and then drop the opacity to about 25. So a couple of little last things to do. Not really quite happy with these highlights on the side of this center island here. So I'm just going to see if I can fix that up a little bit. I'll delete that exposure level. We'll add another one and try again. Exposure, clip it to the island here. Brighten that up quite a bit. And Command I, grabbing our brush, making sure we're painting in white. Smaller brush, I think, and let's just see if we can get that a little bit better. Changing back to black, and we'll just go over that. Drop my brush's flow a little bit down to about 40. And let's just see if we can get that a tiny little bit better. Okay, a little bit happier with that. That's not too bad. I'll let you go and fix the other ones on this left island here i think we need to just bring that exposure down a little bit that's a little bit better as well then one last little thing to do above the center island let's add a new pixel layer let's come over here to our brushes and i'll come over here i've got these cloud and mist brushes let's just grab one of those maybe this one here make our color same color as the clouds down here and activate that color. A little bit bigger brush and we might just add some little clouds around our center island. Maybe one over here on our left island. Turn that a little bit and just add a little cloud on the side here as well. Okay, last thing to do is let's grab all of these layers here, holding shift down, coming over here to layer, and let's merge visible. Gonna use the develop persona this week. So clicking on the develop persona, bringing my clarity up. Let's just add a bit of contrast coming down, bring the exposure down a little bit, vibrance up and saturation down a tiny bit. On details, I'm going to bring both of these up to 50. And then on noise, I'm just gonna add five and hit develop. And there we go, everybody. That is my fantasy composite for this week. I know that you'll take a little bit more time and get these highlights a little bit better than what I've done here. But if you have liked the tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to my channel. If you would like to show your appreciation, you can head over to the Buy Me A Coffee site. That link will be below. Also for this week, I'll provide an island already complete for you just to copy into your own project. 
and also this lamp already cut out because it is such a little fiddly cutout. Those will both be on the Buy Me A Coffee site for you to go and grab absolutely free so you can start off your composite. All the other pictures will be in the link below for you to go and download and try this composite for yourself. But until next time, I'm gonna to say to you, stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you in my next video.